makers hey ladies so today's video is a little unconventional because guess what y'all we are not really feeling that well i'm not really feeling well the kids aren't really feeling that well but praise god we do not have covid we do not have the flu i think we just have like a, a mild common cold and i'm just praising god first of all for that i'm praising god that it could be much worse it could be much more severe and i'm grateful that it's not severe so that is a blessing so i just came in another room to chat with you ladies for a bit i am out of breath <laughs> But I'm getting ready to make the kids some hot cocoa because that's what they want. And I'm about to also make a nice big pot of some vegan soup. I'm probably going to make like a white bean soup and just kind of, you know, go old school with the beans and just some nice hot vegetable broth and, you know, season it up really nice. I made some garlic herb and butter biscuits last night for dinner. So I'll probably have that on the side. And I'll probably make some cornbread for the kids. But before I started doing all of that, I just wanted to chat with you ladies for a little bit because I want to encourage other homemakers right now who you may be facing a hard season, a hard week, a hard day. And sometimes, ladies, you're going to have to do what you got to do when you don't want to do it. And that is one of the reasons why I'm making this video right now. You know, you may have somebody else that says, well, you don't even feel good. Why are you making a video? And for me, my thing is this. I don't feel the best right now. Some of my children don't feel the best right now. But you know what? I got to still show up. Ladies, there are days when you are not going to feel like homemaking, but you still got to show up. You still have to press through. You still have to get up. You still got to cook. <laughs> you may have to do some light cleaning even when you're sick. You know, like I had to get in the kitchen just now and I had to wash some dishes up. Y'all, I didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> you know, if I allowed my flesh to just dictate all, I didn't feel like doing it. But I knew, okay, I got to do it. I got to because for me, I just, I don't like cooking in the kitchen when it's dirty and of course there's sometimes that there's going to be stuff that is on the counters or some dishes in the sink here and there but it was quite a bit of dishes in the sink and i needed to get that you know cleaned um, and cleared so that i could be able to cook for my family i had to pep talk myself i said you know what i know i'm not really feeling the best right now but god by your grace by your strength, by your power, you are going to allow me to be able to do what I have to do for my family in this day. Because my kids still have to eat. They still have to get their teeth brushed. <laughs> I still got to wipe some of them on the potty. Stuff still has to happen. And I can't just shrink and crumble up here and feel sorry for myself and not do what I need to do and not show up. So that's the message of today is showing up when you don't feel like it making during the hard days and the hard seasons and that's why i started this video off praising god because y'all it could be so much worse it could be so much worse i'm so grateful that my family we don't really get sick so when we get sick it's a once in a blue moon type of thing and i praise god for that because i know that's not everyone's situation so right now we're you know a little under the weather but it's nothing severe that's it may slow me down a little bit but it's not gonna knock me down it's not gonna knock me out in the name of jesus christ and so i'm speaking life to myself i'm speaking health to myself i'm speaking it over my family and i am doing what i have to do you know sometimes i think about even my husband i'm sure there are days where he gets up and he may not feel the best in his body but he still gets up and he still presses his way and he still goes out of the house and he works to provide for his family and he doesn't make excuses for it. And so this is not to say don't grace yourself, right? Because there are times where, you know, you have to slow down and there are times where there are some things that you just can't do. But there are also times, hallelujah, I know someone needs to hear this right now. Sometimes. 
you're not going to hear or you don't need to hear. Oh, you don't feel like doing that today? Well, just don't do it, girl. Just grace yourself. Don't do it, you know. Oh, you don't really feel like doing the dishes or you don't feel like, you know, well, just don't do it. Just sit back and rest. There are some times when that doesn't apply. There are some times when you need to hear the opposite, when you need to hear, you know what? I know it's hard right now. I know you don't feel like it, but honey, we're going to pray. We're going to believe God and we're going to ask him to give you the strength that you need to be able to get what you need to get done because you still got to get up and cook. You still got to wash the dishes so that you can be able to make something. It don't have to be the most elaborate meal. It don't even have to be from scratch. You may have something frozen that you were able to pick up from the store. Do that. Do what you can do, but you still got to do something. There are some times when you still got to push through. You still have to show up. And so that's all I just wanted to say, ladies. I just wanted to say sometimes you have to show up still. There are some seasons of life where you can rest more. And then there are some seasons of life where it's like, ooh, I, you know, God, you gonna have to see me through this because I really can't rest. And, you know, it's funny because sometimes, you know, I know I've said it to people. People say it to me, you know, let's say you're not feeling the best or you have a lot going on and you're like, girl, you know, just rest. Just take the day to rest. And I'm over here looking like, rest? I got four kids. <laughs> I'm pregnant with the fifth. Other babies, they need me. Somebody's constantly calling me. I got to keep getting up because somebody needs a refill on this or, you know, a mess has been spilled. It's, it's really not a restful time, right? But it's okay because it's just a season. And I know that God is going to give me what I need to make it through this season successfully in Jesus' name. I'm relying on him. I'm speaking to my... Y'all hear that? I'm speaking over my own body. I'm speaking to my own situation. I'm speaking over my family. And I'm pressing on. I'm pressing through. Because at the end of the day, my children, they're relying on me to show up. They're relying on their daddy to show up. I'm relying on my husband to show up. <laughs> He's relying on me to show up in a different capacity, of course. But we're still relying on each other to show up, right? And sometimes you just have to push yourself to propel forward. Sometimes you got to stand in the mirror and you have to encourage yourself. Sometimes you're not going to have somebody on the end of the line talking to you and saying, oh, you can do it and get up and girl, you got this. Sometimes you have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, woman, <laughs> woman of God, daughter of the almighty, rise. You can do this because the power and the spirit of the one true living God lives on the inside of you. And he's going to give you what you need to be able to see it through. He's going to give you what you need. Don't rely on your own strength. Rely on his that he's giving you. But you're going to have to, you're going to have to get up. Faith without works is dead. So put your faith and your trust in him. And know that he's going to give you what you need to be able to work as unto him. Hallelujah. So I hope that y'all were encouraged. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to, like I said, make my kids some hot cocoa and I'm going to make some soup and we are just going to snuggle up as best we can, as best we can. Cause sometimes y'all, they, they're like, no, I want to sit next to mommy. I'm like, well, y'all both sit next to me. Well, no, I want to lay on mom. No, the end the baby comes over and he's fighting and wanting them to move because he just wants them to himself. Sometimes it's like that. But it's going to be all right. <laughs> it's going to be all right in Jesus' name. So I pray that you ladies were encouraged in some way. Sister who is in a hard season or having a hard day right now, you can do this by the grace of God Almighty. You can do this. Okay? You got this because he's got you. I love you all so much. I'm sending y'all a big sister hug in Christ. I love you so much. I'm praying for you and your families. Be encouraged. The best is yet to come. Love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye, ladies.